Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I'm Kelly Stewart, joined by Adam Trigger and Dave Koken, both of wagertalk.com. Little NFC West for you guys. We've got the Seattle Seahawks, six and a half point underdogs, currently on the Wager Talk odds screen. Totals crept up from the opening number of 46 and a half. Now we're starting to see 48s. Adam, this is uh, something you said right before we went on. You said, I think Seattle is starting to look like a little square dog here. Can you let everybody know why? That's your opinion. Yeah, well, Seattle obviously had the big win last week, and I I was just looking at ticket and money count before I came on the air, and it's looking like quite a bit of Seattle tickets right now against not as much money. Uh, So that kind of just leads me to believe that that might be the case. Uh, it's It's also a big number. Uh, and, and I think a lot of, of people are just going to look at this and say, OK, like, you know, divisional matchup. We're catching almost a touchdown with Seattle. A lot uh, you know, uh, Seattle made money for a lot of, of public uh, of the, the betting public last week. Uh, so Ooh. why not kind of take that number against the Cardinals team uh, that that struggled a little bit? But I have to say, Cal, I'm pretty sure we were all on this last week. But uh, the Cardinals have their, got their swagger back a little bit last week uh, in that game against the Cowboys going in and winning the way they did. And this is a team that, even though they're in the playoffs, now, you know, they could still win this division. And I actually don't think it's that far-fetched because I do think San Francisco has a pretty good chance uh, to beat the Rams. So if you think about it, you know, this Cardinals team really played poorly for for the better part of, I, I would say, over a month. And they come out and play the way they did last week against the Cowboys. I think there might be some carryover for them into this game uh it's at home and i do think there's some incentive for the cardinals who had struggled for maybe about six weeks to 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 sort of build on that performance from last week and go into the playoffs with a little momentum uh so it's a big number but you gotta you know remember too i mean kyler murray did not play in the first meeting that was colt mccoy uh so this will be the first time uh seattle is seeing murray this year uh and kyler murray looked great last week so you have to wonder, was, was that the turning point for the Cardinals? Did they sort of figure it out again? And, and remember, this team started 7-0, and um, looked like one of the best teams in the first two seasons. Uh, so, yeah, I actually I lean laying the points. I like the Cardinals in this spot, and I think they're probably going to get the money. Dave, uh, Cardinals was my best bet last week, and it was really nice to have a rocking chair winner of sorts, at least as an outright underdog. Do you think that the Cardinals have – found their groove, if you will, like Adam said, or was that just kind of uh, taking advantage of a uh, really overzealous Dallas Cowboys team? I think that was a big win for Arizona, and they needed it. But I, I, I think they'd like to keep the momentum going because they <clears throat> certainly lost all their momentum uh, after starting 7-0 and and then losing a whole bunch of games. And I think they'd like to win a home game. They've lost their last four home games. Uh, so I think there's some reason for them to play. I don't know how interested Seattle is here. Um, that was kind of like, well, they're going to break up the old gang last week. That was likely. I mean, I'm not there, so I don't know. But from what we all hear, good chance that was the last home game for Pete Carroll. Good chance that was the last home game for Russell Wilson. And the offense really had it cooking last week. I don't know that they will have as much success here. And the Seattle defense still sucks. It's a bad defense. The Lions moved the ball up and down the field last week. Uh, they stopped. They got a stop on downs early in the game. And the Lions put a bunch of points up last week with a backup quarterback and, and not much on offense. I think the Cardinals show up here. And if they do, the number is actually a little bit short. So I'm going to side with the Cardinals minus the points. All right, sounds like Cardinals or pass for Team Wager Talk. Make sure you guys head over to the Wager Talk YouTube channel and check out all of our other videos up for NFL Week 18.